Um, I got to ask you this. So I know you've been asked this before, but I need to ask you this. So when anybody looks at Illmatic <laughs> and you look at the team that that came together to produce it, it's bananas, right? Like you go, yeah. and, and then I heard all this, I always heard stories about people seeing Nas perform, you know, cause you're, I mean, you know, guys like you, your producer and DJ, obviously you, you know, your ears are open to talented MCs, but like, do you recall seeing him for the first time and just being like, what yeah. the fuck? You know, well, well I, at that time when I was uh, like 90, Lars Professor was the one that I used to hang with a lot and go over to when they were uh, the two DJs from uh, <clears throat> from uh, the main source. Their mother ran the label. So we used to go to their place all the time and hang. And Lars Professor showed me so many techniques on, on programming beats. And then when they were working on the last few songs, He's like, yo, I'm gonna do a posse cut because that was the new thing after Marley Ball did the symphony. All of a sudden, everybody's getting two or three guys to do a, a cut together, you know, on their album. And I feel like Marley's really set that off on, on that scale uh, when he did the symphony. But uh, um, he said, yo, I'm gonna put these new guys on from Queens. And he said, I got this guy named Akinelli. He said, uh, my man Joe Fatal, who everybody knows Joe Fatal, you know, in that circle. And then he goes, and he said, this dude called the rapper Nas because a lot of times back then Queensbridge artists would put the rapper in front of their name, just like Noid is the rapper Noid from from Mob Deep's crew. Okay, and he was the he was the rapper Nas. So, um, <clears throat> he, the day they cut the record, he said, "Yo, I want you to hear this and see what you think." And he played me live from the barbecue, so I heard it before I was even on the album. You did. Straight out the lab. Yeah, straight from the lab. And when I heard that, I was like, yo, that dude's going to hit. And even Akinelli, I said, he's going to blow as well because Akinelli had a dope style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And next thing you knew, everybody was talking about Nas. Everybody. Everybody. And then. Everybody. Uh, 96, Reasonable Doubt. You, that Like, how long did you know Jay-Z before? Like, do you know him, like, years before that? Yeah, I knew Jay probably around 88. Oh, that yeah. far, that far in advance. Mm -hmm. And the, had you seen the Mars club? He's had you walking the club Mars with the big chain and everything? Yeah. yeah. Had you heard him? Because everybody talks about how, you know, the the no pen to paper thing. How he can just mm -hmm. riff off the top of his head. Did you yeah. see that early on and go like this? This is like a gifted dude. Yeah. Well, I saw Biggie do it first. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, Biggie, Biggie, same thing. Uh, they just sit there biggie just sit there and i don't want to say waste hours because whatever it is the energy is what you both respect for the artists as long as they deliver good 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 shit and he would just sit there drinking bacardi limon and moed and and hennessy and and uh it would just be blunt after blunt after blunt and girls coming in coming in coming in coming in coming in and he and he's always offering you a a little bit of that like yo, you, you want to get with her it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah uh, and her and her, yeah. Yeah, that then. sounds like an artist I'd like to meet. That's just, yeah, yeah, rest in peace, Biggie. <laughs> yeah, and then from there, I'm like, Big, it's getting, you know, the session ends in about another two hours. He's like, Oh, I'm ready. You're like, Huh? Oh. He's like, Yeah, I'm ready. And just goes in the booth and does it. You're like, Damn, all this time we've been sitting around here, even though there was things to occupy the time. Right. Man, that's, see, that's unbelievable. Well, like like that song. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there so, you go. <laughs> so that's that's like um, unbelievable comes together like uh, you know end of a session kind of thing. Like you're like you're saying like you've been in there for hours and he's like, oh yeah, I'll just go throw it on. Yeah, real quick. And, and and the album was already done because uh, it, it it was the updated version of the album because um, we, uh, Puffy had done a promo when we were at one of the seminars called the Big Mac because Craig Mac and Biggie is who he signed. So it was like in a Big Mac little container with the burger mm -hmm. and the bun and, and and the little green paper to look like lettuce and it was a cassette. So that's why it's called the Big Mac. And you know, so and you open it looks like a Big Mac, but there was a cassette in, in the instead of the meat, it was the cassette was in the bun and it was just snippets of Biggie and Craig's album. But Biggie had already given the full version to all his homies in the hood. But back then in the 90s, we always wanted our, our team to have a copy so that they could memorize and sing it along with us whenever we 
out in the street to yeah. show that our shit is hot too. That was the thing. Oh, really? Um, so you're actually saying yeah. like memorize this so that it's yeah. like it almost creates like street marketing in a way, right? You'll know the words. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so Puff was like, "Yo, you can't be giving it out to everybody." Is now they're gonna it's gonna be a leak. Dude. That was when the leakage thing started to even be yeah. a thing. And uh, Big's like, "But these are my these are my friends," and we were the same way. I wanted. If it's 30 of us, all 30, I want them to know it at least two months in advance. You know what I'm saying? But now you're like, no, nah, I can't give it out until because now even your your own crew will be like, yo, I got the I got the album already. And and people are gonna be like, Word, you got it. You got oh, it. Let me get it or let me at least hear it. You know, don't tell nobody, but yeah, so it's like a thing. Hip hop still has that much of a of a uh, uh an anticipation and wants.